New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, a luck with us. Big Poppy, David Ortiz, get well soon. So the Yankees are going to play a doubleheader against the New York Mets. The Mets, who, in my opinion, are going to become sellers come trade deadline. I predict that Noah Syndergaard is going to become a Houston Astro. Just because Cole, he's gone. He didn't sign that extension, and he's possibly going to sign with another team. But what that means is that the Houston Astros, that's the team to look at to win the World Series because they're going to have a hell of a rotation if they pull the trigger for Thor, which they can. They have a whole bunch of great prospects. They could get them easily. So the Yankees host the Mets for a doubleheader. Things to look at. The makeup of Clint Frazier. Clint Frazier is that type of ball player that he knows the fans don't like the New York Mets. He knows there's competition there. He is going to give it 100%. Obviously, we didn't see that much versus the Red Sox. But trust me, he's going to come out for blood because he's made to perform in big games. So my prediction is this. Clint Frazier has a great series, those two games. Obviously, those two games are going to be played today. But being on lookout for Clint Frazier, I don't know if he's going to play those two games. But I know the first game, I predict he's going to have a big game. I'm not too confident in Tanaka. Tanaka is sort of coming down to earth. The Mets have a whole bunch of home run ball hitters, especially with Alonzo. I expect Alonzo to launch a couple of home runs or a home run out of Yankee Stadium today. But who knows? I don't know. The Yankees need an ace. That's all I know. All of these pitchers that the Yankees have are coming down to earth. Obviously, we saw with mom. He went to the IL. They're coming back down to earth. And even CeCe needs a knee replacement surgery. The only bright spot is Paxton. You know, there's potential there. But like I said, the Yankees need to go out there and really get an ace, get a freaking household name to put them over the top. Because like I said, the Astros are going to become deadly if they make a deal with the Mets for Thor. It's highly possible. Like I said, it's easy to do for them. I predict the Yankees are going to take those two games, but I wouldn't be sleeping on the Mets because the Mets have young, talented players, specifically with Alonzo, etc. And I'm not too confident with Tanaka right now. Let's see if Tanaka could have a great game because that would be a positive for the Yankees. So, this channel is almost reaching 1 million views. You know, if you can make it on YouTube, you can make it anywhere. Twitter is really one of the easiest places to get noticed. Anybody could get big there. But on YouTube, it takes hard work and dedication. Everybody knows if you have started a YouTube channel, it takes hard work. You get a few views, maybe 10 views, 20. It's really impossible to get like 300 views. But here at m1news.com, you the fans, you have made this channel grow. And we're getting about 1,000 views. And if it goes viral, we're getting about 10,000 views. So at the 1 million mark, I am going to give out prizes for all age brackets. I'm talking about PS4 controllers. I'm talking about MLB The Show games. I'm talking about tickets. I am going to give out at least five prizes to our dedicated subscribers. All you got to do to enter is just keep commenting these videos, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and I will draw random winners once this channel reaches 1 million views in total. I'm going to run it into a ball. I'm going to pick numerous videos on this channel if your name pops up frequently that means you have been a dedicated subscriber to this channel and you have a great chance to win so like i said all you have to do to enter is subscribe to this channel leave your comments be active on this channel and you might win a prize so yankees fans like always leave your opinions in the comment section below what do you guys think about this subway series this little mini two game series that's going to be played in one day because they got rained out yesterday leave your opinions in the comment section below and like always this has been felix from nynews.com share like and subscribe and i will check you out next time Before it hits